Okay, my friends, another stunning uh, revelation about meteorites. What do you see here? This is the Williamette giant iron meteorite. And they are just, they just can't understand why all these holes are in it and why it's not just a solid piece of iron. Well, I know why. It's because it's a lung. <laughs> that is an iron lung case closed. Let me show you my evidence. Okay, my friends, we're going to look at this very closely. There are spots in here that still have the red blood, which is inside of, me of uh, meteorites that were lungs, and that was a lung. Now, this is called smelting. Smelting is the process of heating up some substance and forcing the metals to, to collect. Iron, you see that? That's iron. Yeah, red stuff. Iron is in the lungs and it's in the hearts. Now, lungs have a lot of holes in them. Hearts don't have many holes, but they also have blood. Let's take a look at that. That is an iron heart. That's the black and that's the red, which indicates the vein and the artery. Now, it has all these different crystallizations because it's not 100% iron. Uh, and it crystallizes as it it smelts coming through the atmosphere. This is what happens. That's the red blood, and that is the black vein and artery. That blood, believe it or not, could probably be tested. And I have a meteorite right, right here that can be tested. That is a fingertip, came through space. That's a heart, came through space. The Willamette the lung came through space. This is a fingertip came through space. This is a terrestrial fingertip, identical fingertip. Same little tab right there, same blood squirting out the side, only this one exploded because it was boiled out, coming through the atmosphere, scorched, blistered, boom, that blew out. That was red blood, just like that was. Only these are not saturated like that is. But that's a, a fingertip. It's, in, it's exactly identical. There's no question whatsoever what it is. And I have them in every different mode of decay. There's another one here that's heavily eroded. You see, but it has the same two holes over here where that blew out. That's where the blood comes in on the bottom. That's the distal phalanges black silhouette there. And then I have them fully articulated with the flesh on them. CAT scan, DNA certified, anatomists, etc., etc. We have the identical same things in space as on Earth, except, you know, they're bigger. They're, they're coming through bigger because they were bigger at one time. So let's see what smelting is all about. And I'm telling you right now, I understand smelting. I understand metal probably as good as anybody on the face of the planet. My father was general manager for Walling for Steel Company, which was their special alloys division for Allegheny Ludlam Steel Corporation. He was the big shot there. He controlled the whole shooting match. And this was a 36 Ford, stainless steel. <laughs> there was only six of them ever made. Henry Ford had these made specifically for himself to, to see if he was going to try to see if he could manufacture them. And um, this one here, he, he sat in these. He took them right off the assembly line himself, Henry Ford. I worked on this car. I put a new floor in it, and it was floor boards. They were made out of red oak. Uh, uh, Body by Fisher, it was called. Anyway, um, and my father knew, my father was, he was like me. He was compulsive. Compulsive. I don't know. He just that's the way he was. That's the way I am. I can't help myself. And he was very, 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 you know. He went to Tufts. He went to Wentworth. He was he had straight A's, A pluses at Tufts. Believe me, I heard about that a lot. <laughs> He's a, just fabulously smart guy. And um, anyway, that's just. I do understand how smelting works, and it is, it's no big mystery. I'm not like some genius or something. Smelting is this here, smelting. Smelting a process, applying heat through the atmosphere to an ore, which was a fingertip, to extract a base metal. In, a, in this case, it was iron. 
It is a form of extractive metallurgy. That's what my father was. He was a metallurgist. So anyway, uh, and they do it with everything, silver, iron, copper, base metals. No. So what did you have in that fingertip? You had all of that, you know, the uh, heart, I mean. You had all those different uh, metals. That's why it had all those different colors. Or little different crystal-looking things. Okay, a friend of mine, Phil Harris, found this and cracked it, and it opened up, and there it's a heart, and there's three portions of blood coming through this heart, where it's extremely oxygenated, less, and then completely deoxygenated. That's what happened after about an hour or so. That's the blood that comes back into you to service your tissues. It would have been extremely red and oxygenated, and this is as it's moving over into that phase. All right, so you saw the um, the hearts and the uh, the fingertips, and these are the lungs. Now that one's been DNA certified, 100% human. This one gushed blood all over the place, and they, these are the alveoli. These are the little round circles. Here it is. Uh, here it is, right here. You can see the holes in there. I've shown this a bazillion times. You see all those little circles there? Those are the alveoli, and that, that's this was this lung right here and the blood came out of it. Now, uh, let me show you the one Gary Evans found. See, this is the beauty of having like 80,000 people. I've got, you know, probably only maybe a couple thousand that are really into it, but they're into it. Now, this is Gary Evans over, uh, this was in a salt, flat, a salt mud flat. And he found this and he was looking at it, trying to figure out what it was. Well, here's what it was. It ended up being uh, a lung. <laughs> he broke it open. But I have one here. Hold on. Here's my, here's, I have a ton of lungs and all kinds of stuff. But here's the guy's old back. Here's the guy's old back. <laughs> There's his back. There's the bones in his back. There's the lungs here. And that's the front. So his, his lung is here. He died like this. It eroded all off. These are the alveoli of the lungs. All right? And if you look in here, you can see the little, you see all the little lung holes in here. That right there, you see? Those are the ribs that wrapped around the back. His ribs came around here, and his backbone was down in here somewhere. And these are the little bits and bones of the ribs. I have so much stuff. It's just absolute. I have tons of lungs. I have lots of lungs. I have, come, I have them in all degrees of deterioration, too. Big ones, little ones, round ones, lobe-looking ones. I got them. Uh, it's, it's more that's a lung. I think that's a I'm not even sure if that's a lung. I don't think it is, actually. As a matter of fact, I think that must be a tendon ball. Uh, anyway, I've got so much stuff that, uh, and it's just, you just go out and pick it up. I pick it up every day. I go out and pick up more and more and more. And everybody does. I got so many people reporting to me so much stuff, and, I, and I, I'm going to apologize right now for not, people are starting to get mad at me. I sent you all this stuff you never looked at. Well, I looked, probably, I hope, maybe. <laughs> but, I, you know, I'm just one guy. And I, I, trust me, I am just one guy. Nobody's helping me. People say, oh, is this really Roger? Well, yes, it is. <laughs> There is only really Roger. So, you know, don't get upset at me, all right? That's all I'm going to ask. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to do it real quick. If anybody's taking probiotics and they have any kind of diseases like this COVID-19 where they're getting stomach illness, throwing up, headaches, and the same stuff, I want to know. If they're taking probiotics, did they get that? Uh, so far, I haven't had anybody that has been taking probiotics that's reported this. So that's what I want to know. And if you have these that symptoms, and then you supplement it with probiotics, does it help? All right. Very important. Just just give me a little note about it, please.